Hey guys, welcome back to Man Time. Today we have got a harrowing day. And no harrowing isn't uh, doomsday type of thing. It's actually a uh, way to clean up our fields. So this is what's called a three-point drag harrow. Um, it's got these big uh, three-quarter inch tines coming all the way through. It's also got uh, a way to carry it from the front and the rear. With these right here so I can carry it uh, dragging these tines toward the tractor or in this case away from the tractor and what it does is just basically break up the ground a little bit get those uh, first weeds that are popping up um, out of the ground and get the seeds and stuff from the hay back into the ground and uh, I'm gonna try out um, some new drones that I got to see which one is gonna be able to follow me on the tractor um, while I'm doing this so it's gonna be uh, it's gonna be fun I'm gonna try it out here in just my front pasture to see which of the uh, two drones I've got a um, Femi X8 SE and I'm gonna try the active track and the uh, profile um, in there and then I've also got a Eashin EX4 or JJRC X12 either one um, I think mine's the um, JJRC model and that one tracks the GPS in your phone um, so I've got some high hopes for that. The Femi is going to be one of those trace, uh, draw the box on your screen and hit go and it's actually going to follow you. So I'll try a, a couple different um, ways to follow me there. But I want something to kind of bring you into the field with me. And uh, setting a camera off to the side is, uh, is not going to be good. It's not, you know. Anyways, a lot of exciting stuff happens in the hay field. And uh, it's a shame that, you know, the camera's on the on the sidelines for it so hopefully having some drones will uh, increase the uh, watchability of, uh, <laughs> of farm life so we'll see uh, but this is a this is a this is a harrow here this could also be called a arena drag um, they've also got a chain harrow which is a bunch of chain links kind of intertwined and then there's also uh, a disc harrow which is a, a three point and it's got layers of discs and those discs kind of plow up the ground. Now if I were to completely restart and renovate a, a pasture I would go in with my um, scalloped disc harrow and do double passes with that and then drag from this end of this harrow and this is going to pull up uh, roots and vines and grasses and everything like that but to drag it like this from the front on a uh, non plowed or non disked uh, field is not good so those are uh, a couple different harrows so we'll uh, we'll get started here we'll see which drone is going to follow me while I'm doing some harrowing and it should be a fun day stick around and welcome to man time
All right, gang, that was uh, harrowing through the field and using some drones to, to try to track. The uh, Femi lost me a couple times in the front pasture here, and the JGR CX-12 seemed to do a lot better with that GPS tracking. But when I got back to the hay field, it, it always thought that I was, like, not where I was, or, I mean, I could see the arrow on my map, and it wasn't pointed there, and it wasn't trying to, and so... I don't really know what happened. I uh, shut it down like three or four times trying to restart it, but at the end of the day, I got to get the work done, and I don't have time to play with the toys and try to get them to work right. So I should have brought the Femi back there. It probably would have done a great job. It was doing pretty good up here, except when I was making some sharp turns, it would lose me. And uh, other than that, it was working out pretty good. But both of them did well up here. Um, I did notice the JGRC in the back there. It had a magnetic interference um, warning message, so that, that could have played a part in it. I don't know why it was different back there than it was up here. I mean, you know, quarter mile, half mile away or whatever it is. But uh, it's going to do it for today on Man Time, guys. Get out there, get on a tractor, get dirty, get sweaty, enjoy some nice uh, springtime weather, and have some man time.